This cell phone video captured by a witness shows the massive blaze that completely gutted the Wards Island Association Clubhouse Sunday. Heavy machinery was brought in today to assist firefighters as they comb through the rubble of what is now just an empty cavity. The investigators are sifting through debris to look for any artifacts or anything that can assist them in ascertaining both origin and cause. Locals have been coming by to see the damage for themselves, many in disbelief. I am still shocked and I'm sure for a lot of the older islanders that have a lot of history, sometimes generations back, or their business, uh, it, it's just devastating. Like it's, they're going to be grieving for a while, I think. The clubhouse was originally constructed in the 1930s. Destroyed with it were the pictures, paintings and island artifacts that had been gathered throughout the decades. But it is such an incredible loss of a cherished community space, a historic uh, site that holds so much history about the community on the island. But islanders tell us the spirit of what this building meant lives on. We can rebuild. Peter Freeman is one of the co-owners of the Island Cafe, which was a longtime tenant of the clubhouse. He says there has been a groundswell of support since the fire. I just appreciate the the love and support. You know, it, it, like there's always this, it's in a in an awful situation. There's all this upswelling, and uh, that's that's kind of heartening in this in these times. It's going to take some time to rebuild the clubhouse, but the owners of the Island Cafe say that they are already in talks with the city about having a temporary solution in place this summer. In fact, Freeman says the mayor is already floating some ideas. Olivia immediately said, well, let's just put some containers on the site. And, you know, there's the cafe and, and it's going to take some real time to think about what to do with this site in terms of re rebuilding. But the cafe, we could we could have some containers and we could have uh, a tent. Fire crews expect to wrap up their on scene investigation sometime tomorrow. They say it will likely take weeks, maybe even months, before they are able to determine the cause of this fire. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto.